All right, um, well, I picked this up because I'm a fan of the Castlevania games on DS. Um, particularly Portrait of Ruin, which is what I'm gonna check out today. Um, just a quick note for anyone getting the Steam version of this. Um, there is just stupid config you need to do if you want to get this to run at a different resolution. Um, basically, check your install directory and there's a config file. They edit. That's You can set the resolution to what you want it to be and whether or not it boots full screen. Um, it still didn't respect it for me, but at least it's not looking weird, so... I just figured I'd touch on that for anyone that is having problems with this. But you know, once you're in, that's fine. Seems like it anyway. So, I'm curious how this is gonna work because touchscreen, right? I don't think it'll fit, right? Oh, well. Perfect. Oh, so this is how it's gonna do it. You can also use a mouse. Okay, well, no, this is good that I'm seeing at a PC because I got a mouse. I guess, so what, I can do, oh yeah, you can do that, see? I can make an emblem. We I think it's only like one bit. Oh, actually, hold on. Sorry, it's gonna it might flicker. I know I'm like Tempting fate here by doing this, but give me a sec. If it doesn't, I'll swap back. Yeah, okay. Ugh. It's back. Um, it doesn't pick up the fact that this is a full screen application, so that's great. This. Yeah, okay, so you can't do multicolor, so I guess just. I'll do right. Nineteen forty four, the world is in chaos. The second world war has claimed millions of lives, leveled cities, destroyed nations. The souls of the war's dead blanket, the planet, lost, hurt, and angry. The anguish summons in the cursed castle of legend. It has appeared many times throughout history, bringing with it evil and darkness, the castle of Dracula, the Lord of Darkness, it arrives in mankind's darkest hour to push us over the brink to ruin. That's whipped. There's no mistaking it, you're Jonathan Morris. Good eye, and you are. Ah, forgive me, I am Vincent Doran. By the order of the church, I have been awaiting you. To think that the master of the legendary vampire killer would come here, a blessing indeed. Too bad he actually can't use it. Charlotte! Can't you even pretend to play along for even once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. What? Are you suggesting that whip is a fake, then? She's right, I can't use the vampire killer. This whip wasn't originally within my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula. And the family is related to the Morris family by blood. Been doing your research, huh? Unfortunately, the fact is we're not the true successors. But hey, no problemo. I've won every battle till now without the whip. Not one loss. Not only that, I'm here too. Yes, I was wondering about that. You are? Well, excuse me. If you're from the church, then remember this. I'm Charlotte Olin. Charlotte? I've heard that name before. Charlotte. Oh. You must be the great magician everyone's been talking about. Heh <laughs> great, you say. Uh, unbelievable. To think... 
that she was a mere child. Oh, well, I mean, such a lovely young lady. You heard that, Jonathan? He called me lovely. So anyway, Vincent, you had some business with me. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I have been ordered to assist you on your quest. I brought potions with me, but, well... Well, what? It's a matter of economics. You want us to pay you, right? Um, well, if you insist. Sure, no problem. I think we can take care of that. You can take care of that. But more importantly, the castle. Is that really Dracula's castle? No one has seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it is indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it, this castle is pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I studied in the books. Sounds like fun. Come on. We better get going, then. Charlotte? Right with you. Be careful. I'll search for a safe place. I'll meet you inside. Farewell. Yeah. Just, sorry, I'm just noticing if there's, like, screen tearing. Um, how do you bring up settings again? There we go. Oh, it doesn't let you do it here. Yeah, this UI is terrible. The amount of settings you can modify is not great. Um, but I do like, granted, this kind of thing. I don't know why you would want a duplicate of the side screen. So I reckon we go for this. We can do, we can do a background color if we want. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, and yeah, I got... It's okay. Right, so don't touch top triggers. Move this out of the way. But yeah, so you can... I guess that's, that's my stylus. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out of the way. Uh, I used to spam that a lot. Call part would be... I can't get the bridge open, maybe if there were two of us. Try B to... okay. I mean, it, it's interesting. I had a lot of fun with this game. I was kind of curious how they were going to handle the touch mechanics, but I guess there you go. I can use my mouse if I want, but I'll try use just the controller where possible. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the series. Always have been. This was, I think, one of the first games that I got for the DS. Outside of the ones that um, came with my system. You can probably see, still see the mouse cursor. I just like that it looks good, you know? I do have a copy of this still, right? But I think through the DS capture card, it might be a bit blurry looking. At least this can have nicer pixel art at this resolution. But probably playing it on the 3DS would have been a better idea in terms of the touch mechanics. I don't remember there being that significant in terms of gameplay, so we'll see. Um, all right. Forgot about that. It's also good to hear the, the music in a clear manner. 
because you know the, the speakers on the DS weren't exactly great. Oh. There are enemies here now. for him. This game had a pretty interesting selection of weapons. I haven't played this since, um, it was out, you know, so I probably don't remember a lot of it other than Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte. Other than that. Um. Oh. Crap. I messed up. What's the best to swap? Hold on. Go back. I mean, it's a cool mechanic. Alright, she's got a first spell now. Effectively just a tutorial room. Once the game is up and running, it's fine. Just, man, that menu is really clunky. Something's here. Oh, right. It's not human. A monster? No, wait, I sense no evil from him. Ah, you can sense my presence. Who are you? A ghost, as you can see. Ghosts have no need for names. Incredible, he managed to stay sane despite the castle's evil influence. How is it possible? I don't know about you, but he sure does seem shady to me. Think what you will, it's your choice. However, can you truly destroy me with a whip you can't even use? Only one way to find out! Wait, hold on. How do you know you can't use the vampire killer? Huh? I find it very odd to find the ghost not controlled by the power of Dracula's castle. A smart girl compared to this foolish boy. Just before I died, I cast a magic barrier on myself, binding my soul to this place. I am free from the castle's control, but I'm trapped here. But a paranormal entity like you can easily be affected by magic. Casting a barrier that repels the castle's power is impossible, even for me. Just, who are you? My name is meaningless, but I suppose you need to call me something. Very well, call me Wind. Mr. Wind. Just Wind is fine. Alright, Wind, what are you doing here? Didn't you hear him? He's trapped here, remember? I understand that. But if he truly has this much power, he could use other methods besides just binding his spirit here. My, my, my. You really are a bright little girl, aren't you? Stop treating me like a child. My name is Charlotte. Okay, got it. And who is this kid? Who are you calling kid? It's Jonathan. Jonathan Morris. Hmm. The reason I'm here, simply put, is regret. I will not rest until the lord of this castle is vanquished. I thought I would lend assistance to those who might defeat him. But if you can't move from here, how could you help us? In spirit form, I am unable to grant item. Oh, I am able to grant items and techniques I once possessed in life. I think they'll be of great help to you. In that case, please help us. No, 
I've been able to do fine without any of his help so far, so why don't you just... Right, so far, but this is Dracula's castle. Even if he could use that whip, we would still be in great danger. Don't you remember your father? Enough about my father. A dead man who leaves me to fulfill his destiny. Forget him. Sorry, but still. No, wait, I'm sorry. I guess I got a bit carried away. You might be right, Charlotte. Wind, perhaps we could use your help. Could you help us? If you can complete the task I give, only then will I help you. <laughs> I'm not a kid! Yeah, that's like yelling. That totally proves the point. The priest should have some helpful things in your next room. Get the potion I'm out. Yeah, let's go, Charlotte. Oh, well, well, well. Welcome back. Hmm, so you're selling your potions here? There aren't many now, but my stock will increase little by little. For a price, right? Yes, I'm afraid so. Master Jonathan. Then try anything shifty and don't even try to lie. Still, it is true that rural churches are short on money, or so they say. Thank thank you, you're, you're lifesavers. Anyway, please take a look. Okay, so what he saved the map, castle map. I mean, he does have other stuff, and a potion is just to complete the quest. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself just in case he asks me to buy something else. If you can complete the task, like then we'll help you. We're done. Lizard tail? Slide into narrow space with- okay. Now you should be able to advance deeper into the castle. If you can complete the task I give you, I shall teach you even more, including magic skills. Master them, and I might entrust you with some items from my past. Sounds good to me. Uh, one more thing, regarding this lord's castle. You mean Dracula, right? I've read books about him. Dracula isn't this lord's castle. This castle's lord, jeez, I didn't read that right. What do you mean? Isn't this place named Dracula's Castle? It is indeed Dracula's Castle. However, the castle's lord is a vampire by the name of Brauna. Or Brauna. I guess I haven't heard anything about him. As one would expect, his identity has been kept secret for years, after all. He infuses magic into paintings to increase his power. You will undoubtedly come across his paintings in this castle. Search for these paintings. He's using the paintings to make... The castle's power his, isn't he? Still, we won't have to face Dracula. That's good news, right? Be careful, his power grows stronger by the minute. No problemo. We'll get you the revenge you've been waiting for. That's a promise. Trust us, Jonathan might seem unreliable, but he'd never break a promise. <laughs> That's reassuring. Very well, best of luck to you. Alright then, let's go find those paintings. Yes, because as we all know, the lingo in World War II was like, no problemo. That's how every World War II soldier was talking. <laughs> it's alright. Can put that aside. So, I mean, this is what I remember about it, is, like, it wasn't one big logical castle, which I think was the part that, back in the day, I kind of... Eh. I wanted it to be one big castle, but, you know, I, I get why they did it. This painting, its power is incredible. Must be one of those paintings. Without a doubt. Hmm. I've got it. Get a share? This painting's function. Brona is using it to control the power of the castle. Well, then, let's hurry up and rip it to shreds. Impossible. Anything we do will be pointless. From what I can tell, based on the theory of curse amplification, this picture is a multi-layer pseudo-space bar barrier. A kind of paranormal phenomenon. Uh, okay, and what's that mean in human language? In short, think of it as a series of walls that surround the magic controlling Dracula's castle. The painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll regenerate. It's unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? I'll sync up 
my magic with the paintings so we can enter it. That'll be the best way to seal the castle's magic away. The risk is quite high, though. No problemo! Come on, what do we have to lose? Okay, then, here we go. No problemo! So we're in the painting now? Yeah, the vision of the artist is fully realized, literally. I mean, it did... It did allow it to... Kind of take landscapes that you wouldn't see otherwise. But I always wanted it to be just one logical map. And I don't remember this being... Having 3D graphics in the background. I wonder if they've done anything to them. Play with a tiara? Okay. Another second screen probably isn't as important, but I'll keep it there for now. It's, it's honestly been a while since I've played the Castlevania game. Turtle? Alright. It's unfortunately a series we don't really get much of these days. Other than what we get in these collections. Good, good work. <laughs> Way to hit that skeleton. I'm still looking for fake walls and stuff. I suppose I should refer to the map. I can't help it. Well, get her out of there. I mean, I don't remember really using Charlotte that much in this. At least not at the start. I know that she gets better spells later. That are more useful. Like, right now, it's basically a weaker melee character. Keep her in high. Why can't Jonathan wear the corset, huh? What if he's into that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, right, the jellyfish. I still thought this was visually cool, because I never got to experience the GBA at Castlevania games, so... The jump for me went from... Symphony of the Night to this. So I was really glad to be playing this when it came out. I could have picked one of the titles that I hadn't played before, but I really wanted to play this one just because nostalgia, you know?
Let's get that sword. Okay, but this is like a heavier attack. I kind of like the heavier weapons more though. Gotta get that map completion. There we go. Basic combination where partners take back up Y. Okay, cool. These moves were cool. There are better ones later on. Well, so I thought you could destroy the axe. Oh, come on. That should have hit. so weird. I, I don't know why I lean to heavy weapons in certain games, but then in other games I avoid them. I guess it depends how they feel. Oh, there we go. I mean, I can go whip. But see, it's lower attack, but it attacks quicker. That's the one thing they don't really convey in these games very well, is like... Yeah, there is an attack difference, but one attacks quicker than the other. I don't think any Castlevania game I've played conveys that really well. Okay, so I'll use it. Does that say Market Street? But with no E? Mark, uh, marked, marked Street. Victorian Senate. See, that says something I can read. That's so bizarre. One thousand. Hey, rookie, how's it going? Marked Street. I think I made a mistake. No, no, I know what I'm supposed to do. This is a team scenario. Charlotte, stay in. She doesn't want to stay in. Oh no, there we go. Ah! I had it! <laughs> Hang on. Stay. Don't, don't hop out. Okay.
I think I'm overcomplicating this. I think I should just run. There we go. Never mind. No overcomplication. Just janky. Well done. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, this is what I remember, calling Charlotte to do that. Appreciate the buddy system. So I'm gonna explore the whole map out just right now. I guess get to the end goal. Guessing that's a Charlotte. Um, intelligence down, defense up. Like that. hated these little things whenever they appeared in any game. Oh. That's fine. That attack it lets off is no joke. Also been, I guess the reason I thought about playing this, I've been watching, um, what we do in the shadows. Like, the whole vampire thing is on the mind at the moment. And though it's not Halloween season or anything, I feel like we're close enough. I don't know, the timing of this release was good, I think. I'll have a way back. Guess we're here. Hey, Sherry, how's it going? I forgot how this fight went. Get the head. Ow. Okay, I actually got it the wrong way around. Ooh. Already, but... Not the best start. Okay. 
Dude, I'm getting my butt handed to me. Ah! Why is this hitting so hard? Oh my god. Well, I just got my ass handed to me. Am I just too weak for this? It's possible. Or just get good. I guess I spent too much time trying to attack something that I couldn't hit. Okay, Charlotte has more tolerance towards this. It would appear. Oh, no, this, this is definitely like a case of get good. I don't know why Jonathan's taking so much more damage. I guess magic damage, probably. Uh, if I take another hit, I'm gonna die, so let's just top up. I mean, for a first fight, man. There we go. Jeez. Good stuff. Phew, that monster just seemed to be the core of the magic energy. Meaning Verona can't use the castle's power now? No, not quite. His control of the castle's power has decreased a bit, but... Decreased a bit. I think there's something else. My, oh my. Oh, the sisters. I knew I smelled something. Seems like some maggots got inside. A vampire! My, my, such attitude. You dare disrespect somebody of my caliber? I am a lady, Lady Loretta. You probably think your little victory has weakened us a bit, but... However, I do have some tragic news for you. This wasn't the only one of my father's paintings. I know that. I can obviously tell by sensing the movement of the magical energy. Hehe, <laughs> what an amusing sight. A child who fancies herself an adult. Let's take her, Charlotte. Right with you. Ugh. The whip. Jonathan, what are you doing? Unfortunately, I have strict orders from father not to fight you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why do you... Why did you stop attacking? It was like some strange power was like... Ugh, never mind. I'm sure it was nothing. Probably just imagined it. Sorry. Oh, well. Like that vampire said, I sense other paintings. I can't pinpoint their exact location, though. We'll just have to find them. Let's head back to the castle. Well, we got the rest of the map to explore. Acrobatic cube, spring off a of partner shoulder. Yeah, so I guess, like... 
I forget how that worked. Oh, there we go. Yeah, duh. Yeah. I remember. Instead of just granting double jump, it does that. I need to get him to be a little tankier than what he is. I'm guessing that boss was just heavy on magic damage, so that's all it was. But who are the thick glasses? I guess for her? Hang on. Sometimes it's hard to tell who can wear what. Okay, they're intelligence-based. So then... There we go. I don't think I can get this. This is like something else. Come here, Charlotte. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, I just found an axe. I will use said axe to survive. I'll rotate the weapons as I get them. Moonwalkers. Boost the and Boost that enhance the ability to dash backwards. Okay. I think I'll forego that for now. Just to not lower his defense. I will definitely buy more potions. Strike a balance between damage and speed. At the moment, I'll stick to axe because that's like a pretty big damage boost. to magic being high. That's honestly what got me out of that last boss fight, was her magic being strong. I hate, I hate rooms like this. <laughs> it just, it makes me think there's a secret. Push an object, call your partner to help. I don't know why I didn't do it before, but okay. I'm just gonna fill in the map. I 
Oh god. That's a lot of axe dudes. Oh cool, I got the throwing axe. Um, I forgot that's how this game works as well. Hang on, how did it work? It was like relics? No. I genuinely forgot how like to swap out sub weapon types. Alright, we'll figure it out later. Guess you can see that or the map. I don't know what's more interesting to see. Gale Force, tear through enemies with raging winds. That's Charlotte's spell. Okay, swapping to the maze, because it's probably attacks quicker. Sorry. Alright. Yeah, slightly quicker. I'll walk. Oh no, I can do this again. It's easier to do that the other way around this time. Market. <laughs> I can't unsee that now. Pin heels, totally a Jonathan weapon. I mean, item. Okay, um. Sure. And that's the thing that I'm trying to figure out is like. I mean, we can do Holy Lightning as a team move. That's at least better. Ah, and I can have... Okay, there we go. I guess we're done for now. Gotta keep checking in on the guy. For missions, that's what I remember. What will it be today? 
Go to the butcher in town and punch some meat to g get ground meat. Okay. Gotta go back. It's that one room that had all the meat hanging, which I don't think is far. Oh, that's back there. Okay, hang on. That's options. Okay, hang on. I gotta remember not to press the other trigger. I think it's this top left room here. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what the touch does. I know this, this is a reason for it to have touch screen. Other than the menu. There we go. That's it. That's all I needed to do. Good. Good hitbox. <laughs> Change sub weapons. I'm trying to see, like, maybe there's a character that you go to specifically to do this. Bullet punch received. Do you have anything else? Right, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so now... See, it, it's less damage, but... I don't know, I, I question it. Skill cube. Okay, so there it is, but then how do I swap skill? It's the part that I don't remember for the life of me. Alright, chat. I mean, maybe I'm overlooking something minor. Anyway, what can I do for you? I'll just go. So I do have that. 
I need to save up for that, I think. Some of these are really good. A throwing blade. Yeah, so... I bet it's gonna be like a dumb thing, like I got a skill cube that lets me swap the weapons. Or something along those lines. This way, okay, I don't care about the name of enemies, but cool. I'm half expecting that to be the case. I should probably save, I'm on low health. Let's just keep going. I'll save money from this point forward just to get some of those items. Whip skill one after attacking. Oh yeah, that's like classic whip skill. Too bad I'm not using whips. What's the attack rate on this? It's rather slow, but it's more ranged, I guess. I'm down for trying multiple different weapons. I'm guessing this is why it gives the spear at this point. <laughs> Put more distance. I'm fine. Charlotte, maybe. I'm Ow! That was a big hit. Well, Charlotte's sending this one out for now. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> They're great visuals. I guess that confirms that the race jump and got wrecked. The first fight was probably because it was heavy spell damage. And I just could not tank that. Charlotte has her use cases.
Let's keep following this path. Defenses form a stance that emphasizes offense. I mean, that's all well and good. Oh, there it is, sub weapon. Man, I'm an idiot. I was expecting there to be a completely separate menu. There we go. Okay, I'm with it. I'm more of a fan of the axe, at least in terms of usability. I know this game rewards you for training all the weapons, so we'll see how far I get with that. I remember there being a specific room you would go to to train up your weapons, and it would happen, whilst well, not amazingly quick, it was still a good room to go fight. It's going to be something that I either remember at the moment I see it, or I'll just look it up eventually. I'm not convinced I'm going to 100% the game, but at the very least get through the map and um, the endings. Oops. Must clear the map. Good spell is good. <laughs> I don't know, I was never a fan of the fist weapons just because they don't attack quick enough for what they do. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm good. I don't know if there's input delay or what, but I feel like I'm not pressing the jump button, like, well-timed enough. It almost feels like there's a little bit of lag in it, I don't know. I might be imagining it. Good aim. It's fine, full health. Strawberry. Yeah. 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 
Ups. I was hoping I could use the Super Nintendo controller for this, but then I remembered. Oh, wait, there's like potential touchscreen mechanics to this, so you need that extra analog stick. Hmm, maybe this will work out better. <laughs> there we go. I'm good. Oh, no, it's the naked man again. Slime. Boiled starfish? Is that a use? Has a firm yet slightly elastic texture. <laughs> okay. I would have taken a turkey in the wall, but sure. This probably leads to a save room. Naked man! <laughs> uh, okay, good. Good upgrade. I need a save room. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'll stick to Gale Force for now. Sorry, right. worst comes to us, I'll pop a potion. Ooh, this could be problematic. Uh, I'm sure it's not a boss, <laughs> but it's all heal. Okay, time to heal. Oh, crap. I thought you would appear. The, uh, the one who imposes on my master. He's swirling with black magic. I've read about him. 
Dracula's eternal servant, Death. Dracula isn't this castle's master anymore. Why are you here? My, what an odd thing to say. This, this castle belongs to Lord Dracula, to him and no one else. I get it. You've joined forces with Brauna because you're thinking of resurrecting Dracula, aren't you? Brauna, who are you talking about? There's no point in playing dumb. You already know the current master of this castle is a vampire by the name of Brauna. Vampire Brauna. Even with my power, I didn't sense that. This needs to be dealt with before the return of my master. What? You really didn't know? Well, it doesn't matter. You're connected to Dracula, so I'll fight you here and now. Ha! With that useless whip of yours, at least your dead father was strong enough to wield it. Don't compare me to my father! Da -da -da. Calm down, Jonathan. You can't beat him without strategy. Oh, and to think he needs a little child to admonish him. Sorry, Charlotte. Whenever someone mentions my father, I just lose it. That's alright. It's not like you started hating your father just now, but what's the point in getting angry at someone who isn't even here? It's because he's not here. Listen, my father only taught me the basics of fighting. Then he went and got himself killed, leaving me the heir to the whip. A whip he didn't teach me to wield or yield. He was so selfish. He must have had his reasons. And don't forget, you've been fighting without the whip's power so far, thanks to his teaching. Maybe so. But now Dracula may be reviving and I can't even use the power that I'm meant to use. Even though my father could. That's true, but... Enough with all this talk about my father. Talking won't change a thing. Come on, let's go. When death makes an appearance, Dracula can't be far away. Yeah, you're right. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, not these things. Um... D just for, like, safety's sake. I'm healing. But also you might have a quest. Nope. Yeah. I gotta get be checking him constantly. Uh, I suppose. Backtrack first. I don't want to find out what they do. <laughs> oh, vacuum! Death vacuum. Okay. Nice, good drop. Wait, was this gonna happen anyway? Oh. Hey, Charlotte, do you wanna push? I thought we could push together. Oh no, it doesn't work. Alright, never mind. It's a load bearing thing. Such a dumb, dumb weapon. I kind of want to use it. Oh, 
When I was in university, there was a friend of mine that wanted to make a game where all the weapons were just really stupid objects, like vacuum cleaners. But, you know, in the style of Diablo, but then you equip just mundane objects to do combat with. I thought it was a good idea. But I don't think he ever made it. I'd play the hell out of something like that. Don Quixote. Sure. Don Quixote. I'm sure I'm doing the right thing. why but moving it I remember moving this thing for some reason <laughs> I forgot about Charlotte's books hey you missed That's better. I'm waiting for the lightning spell to come off. Alright, here we go. Show yourself! That was a good time. <laughs> I didn't take a hit because of that. Ow. I think I may have messed up the positioning of this. Hang to be something along the lines of that. I might be playing with fire here.
I think I need to swap to a cleave. The spear just doesn't hit it with its arc. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm buying more potions real quick. I know eventually it doesn't become that much of a struggle anymore. Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. I wish I remembered more about this game. I probably would be doing better. I don't want to look at how old this game is, because that'll make me feel old. But it's easily been over 10 years. Just checking. All my money's going into that for a bit. Alright. Do you have a quest for me? Yeah, there we go. Um, Defenders of the Stairs. There is a room in which ghosts gather. Defeat the great ghost that appears there. Go defeat ten hill guards. Alright. It's nice that it lets you take on multiple things at once. I'm not sure I've come across a hill guard yet, but I assume it's for the next stage. <laughs> this vacuum. Okay, there we go. But I think I still need to do the... I guess not. Artisan? Probably just the strongest spear. It is. <laughs> Hang on, I should probably take these things out just for the entry. The hardest thing for me right now is getting used to the Xbox D-pad. I just, ugh. It's not great. Alright, there we go. Good enough. <laughs> Good work, Charlotte. Instant petrification. Oh, this thing. Oh, these things do a lot of damage. Yeah. 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 
This is why I like the axe. Mimic. Smite that thing. <laughs> Jeez. Sure. As long as I offer some stat upgrade to spell. They're just trying to do their jobs. I mean, a horrible job. Just having to vacuum this thing that'll never be clean. Okay, those are the portrait, and I imagine. Dude, stop vacuuming my butt. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, okay. Am I, am I just getting lucky with... Well, it does lock up and at the cost of one stat down. I think that's fair. I seem to be getting a lot of item drops for gear. This is a good draw. Uh, oh no. <laughs> it's the Dune Worm. It's a good track. I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted. And I was right. Okay, good. Trust your instincts. That was either going to be death or an item. It's probably you. Hang on. Stop by attack. I mean, I'll stick to the Partisan for now, but if I do need a better attack arc, I'll go steal what. buy some of the expensive gear. Gotta check. Oh, this thing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Never understood the design of that thing. Hey, Charlotte, do you mind getting off the thing? Yeah, good. Yeah, step on that. Don't follow my lead. Okay, I may need to swap to whip here. Just makes it easier to hit him like this. Doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. Charlotte! There we go. What was that? Was supposedly looking for a room that has all the guys scatter, so. Uh oh. No, we have to swap to this. Not looking good. Dude, let me jump over you. Oh, too late. Another stone mask. Save room? Ugh. No, I have to use Sally here. Oh, this is not good. I'm waiting. Did it die? No, it died. Oof. Oh, but this seems like fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid thing. Um, I got other stuff as well. It's fine. Oh crap. Wrong move. worth it just for the level up yeah. I'm asking for it but there's like a bottom and a top corner I'll investigate later
Ugh. That's that. This is why X is supreme. Oh, nice. Thousand knives. I like that move. Um, I'll give Charlotte thousand knives. There we go. Anti-curse. Good room. I should have done this from the get-go. I'm worried there's gonna be a boss room in a minute that I'm ill prepared for. Ah, oh, you interrupted me. Oh, this this is a cursed room. This <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not gonna let that happen. That even, I don't think that even made a dent. Well, how, how do I play this one? <laughs> I mean, I guess she'll be able to recharge the magic, so I'll just wait on the magic recharge and just keep using axes. Probably thousand bladed as well. Yeah. Oh, no, she's fine. She can tank it. Okay. I just wasn't sure. I, I desperately need to save her. <laughs> Seems like Charlotte's more useful overall in this. Oh, well, there you go. I don't think I can be tricky to get in there. That's fine. Ah! 
Oh, I just noticed there's like a bottom room. Oh, the laser thing. <laughs> yeah, let's not mess with that. I guess I just need to find the room where all the ghosts gather. I thought it might be this one, but it's not. Real wow. <laughs> I just skipped over all the save rooms. Okay, um, in order to not go through the boulder room again, I'm coming back here. I love the part where they can just spawn on top of you. I'm skipping this. Bye. Is the worm gonna respawn? No, okay, good. I mind this, it's more experience. Ooh. Thought that thing was dead. surprised to find you inside of my painting. You must be Brauner. How dare you! Show my father some respect. Calm yourself, Stella. What could they possibly know about respect? They're just humans, after all. Indeed, I am Brauner, master of this castle. Are you trying to revive Dracula? What the hell are you up to? Dracula, you say? What a joke, right, sister? Watching these ignorants get worked up can be so entertaining. It seems you have no intention of reviving Dracula. Why should Lord Dracula be revived? In the last few centuries, he's failed at controlling humanity. I will wait no longer. For the sake of my beloved daughters, I will take this world from mankind. Humans bring death and ruin to everything of beauty. If you're not after Dracula, why has the castle been resurrected? Lord Dracula's power is great, I recognize that, and through this castle, that power will allow the world to be reborn. You only want 
to use Dracula's power. But it shouldn't be possible to separate Dracula from his magic. Oh, but it is. What a clever young lady. So long as I possessed the power of the painting, I had no trouble at all. Father, you need not waste your time on such insolent pests. What did you say? Please show them how utterly pathetic they are. Well, no need to be hasty, dear. At the moment, Dracula's faithful servant is sniffing around my castle, disposing of him as our first priority. But father... You two have nothing to worry about. Please retire to a safe place and get some rest. You heard me, we can dispose of this trash at any time. We finally meet this brawner. He has incredible power, just the sight of him could drive any ordinary person mad. Yep, it would have been messy. If only I could use the whip. Look, at least we're alive. Yeah, but I'll make him regret ever crossing paths with us. If I remember correctly, the story was like pretty sad. <laughs> the two sisters. Maybe before going through that. Just make sure there's nothing here. Oh. Hang on, there's a way to do this. Hold on. How did I... I think I can't double jump before I do that. I think I'm overcomplicating it. Uh, 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 hold on. Charlotte, get into place. There we go. Did that not finish the worm? There we go. Same thing again. Oh, this one doesn't have anything. I'm going to this effort for like this. Okay, I mean, I could try it. Oh, no, this is different. Okay, this might be worth. Charles better help. Save room, please. Oh, that was silly of me. I should have stopped true uh, trying to look for a secret. Cheese? A pumpkin pie. My bad. It looked like cheese to me. Oh good, it's this thing again. It's 
it dead? <laughs> Hope so. I mean, you would think there's a save room nearby. Oh, there is one. Just underneath me. Oh, I'm really asking for it. <laughs> Get it out of here. Gotta survive. Um, it's okay. I can fast roll back there. Ugh. Look. Very rough. This is not bad, it's just short range, but it does decent damage. Alright, back to here. Oh, not this again. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I just realized. I think? Hang on, go up here. Oh god. Very heavy steel ball. There's gonna be a lot of attacks that I just don't bother ever checking out. I need to go on the outside of this to get the weapon at the start. Filling in the map squares. That is probably it. Oh, I mean... Okay, not what I was trying to do. I don't think I can actually do this right now. Alright. Man. <laughs> Locking out with these drops. Um, probably not worth the hit. On stats, just to get one defense. Oh. Whoops. Actually, never mind. Worthwhile. Okay. This is a Charlotte weapon item thing. Crystal necklet. Okay. 
I can see why she's doing better than Jonathan. In a lot of circumstances, it's just her stats for spells are, are good. These are the items I found. Going to ignore. What's this? Okay, I thought that was going to be more intricate than what it was. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Another drop. All right. I mean, I'll take it. Dude, I'm having some luck with these drops. For some reason, I thought that enemy was going to be way worse than what it was. Charm. I think I already got some ghost. Probably worthwhile. Yeah. Hmm, I thought there'd be a secret here. Hang on, I'm just trying to. F oh. Another Charlotte item. Um, luck up at the cost of several stats. I'm good. I'm worried how much damage that'll actually do if it hits me. No. Oh, okay. Room. We're not going any further until I find a save room. Okay. Let's fill up the rest of the map. Oh, there we go. Okay.
Cleopatra. Oh, it's not Cleopatra. Never mind. Spellcaster, which is why I'm using Charlotte. Like, Jonathan took way too much damage. It looks like, um... She doesn't do... Oh, Okay. Do your best, Jonathan. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's gonna be hard with Jonathan not... Not being able to survive much. Oh, I have an idea. I know what to open up with. Oh. Okay, that's what I have to do. Just buy time until that move happens. Get up! <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was, um, such an extreme difference between attempts. I haven't found the room where the ghosts gather, though. Kill the big ghost. Increase pushing power. All right, well. I guess let's just backtrack. There's been multiple rooms that can fit that description of like the room where all the ghosts gather. gather. Drop, please. So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure how to get that item, but I'm guessing it's something for later. Um... I'll do one last lap. Try and find this ghost room. There is a room in which the ghosts gather. Defeat the great ghost that appears there. Maybe it's a case of I have to murder enough ghosts, I don't know.
<laughs> Hold on. Am I gonna play with fire here? I, I tried like an old Castlevania thing. I'm guessing it's this room because it has flying skulls and ghosts. Let me try to stick around here for a minute. Of another room that fits this description. Oh, no more ghosts are spawning. I think I'd, I'm just gonna do that. Wherever there's ghosts, just keep fighting until. Could even be this room. What? Oh, the ghosts are making the blade miss. There we go. I'll just hang out in this room for a minute. And see if anything spawns. Oh, not this. Good. <laughs> Love that move. It costs so little as well. It's not this room. There's mummies, so... They've stopped spawning. Do I really want to go through this room? Oh. I hate this room. <laughs> Can't be this room. Oh, okay, it's fine. I don't think it's this room either. This room just had javelin enemies. might be the thing that I need to look up. You would think I would have come across it naturally. Ah! 
it's getting a little dire. Doesn't point it out on the map. Hmm. Oh, crap. Do I, I think I have to redo what I just did. No? Yeah, crap. I have to redo the fight. Oh, good work. Ah, it's no biggie. It's not like she's gonna put up much of a fight anyway. What's that having to save? No auto save? <laughs> it's so dumb, but okay. Good job, Thousand Blades. I'm definitely going to hit the save room once I build in this part of the map. of the ghosts. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I was worried about. Smoothie. You prefer a landscape of ruin? That's fair enough. I used to too, but then portrait took over, and now everything's portrait. If you're not portrait, you're behind the times. How's it going? Well, I'm out of ideas. Then again, I haven't seen anything spawn, so let me just keep killing ghosts until it stops. I bet it's this room. Oh, it is this room. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Um, what was the other one? Go defeat 10 hill guards. I don't think that's the stage. I don't think hill guards appeared in this yet. going. It's good to hear. What have you been up to, man? I was checking the Risk of Rain 2 DLC, but... Um... It's, uh, pretty buggy and, uh, not great at the moment. So I'm waiting until they patch it to play more of it. Kinda sad... Like, I really like that game, but they've, um, really butchered it with the latest update. Alright, I think we're gonna leave here for now.
Oh, you're doing Ocarina of Time randomizer? How is that? I've done a Link to the Past randomizer, but I can't say I've tried any of the N64 ones, just because my knowledge of those games aren't as good. Jonathan! It's good, yeah. I'd get into it if I knew more of the game. And then you're coding a randomizer, randomizer? Randomizer, randomizer? What do you mean? Like it randomizes the randomizer? So you get different settings? Stupid vacuum. Okay, I gotcha. Not, not these things. I, okay, they're not doing much damage. I used to do the, um, A Link to the Past full randomizer thing, where it would... The doors would, like, lead you to a completely random spot in the map. And I'd be able to piece it together just because of the knowledge I have of that game. What are you... Thousand knives? Thousand... Thousand knives. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Stupid D-pad. Good work. I don't know what they were thinking with the Xbox controller D-pad. Oh, you're learning C++. That's useful. It's always good to learn when you have a project in mind and you're actually working on something that isn't just tutorial material. Like, you learn it a lot better. The cockles, they do nothing. Uh, actually, the uh, no. Nah. I don't know why I didn't equip that. There we go. That's better. Um, whatever the latest Xbox is, I I've lost track with their naming conventions, honestly. But it's the one where the D-pad is like this weird bit of plastic. Like, they're not physically separated, it's one thing, and then the diagonals are kind of awkward to hit. Yeah, it's like the circular one that's a disc. It's not quite like the one that S Sega do. Like, those ones are a lot better. But it's... yeah. It's not great. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, babe, now all good. I'll have to look at the Weapon Master and see how long... Hang on. Okay, still got ages before it masters it. I remember it did take a while. Point. 
I should probably go check in again with the store. Wait, I went to the wrong one. There we go. Bible learn? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's see, enter this command. Forward, down, left, right, X. Oh no, this is gonna be fun to do. Oh, it's like... Hang on. There we go. That's so awkward to do with this D-pad. I did it with the analog stick instead. Even then. That's not going to be a move you see me do often. It, it actually physically hurts my thumb to do this move. Just doing any sort of fighting game combo on this, it's not fun. I can't even do it, look at this. I did it once. Alright, whatever. That's fine. Um, go back. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll go do that now. I have to go get cursed. Back. Welcome back, dude. In you go. Um, closest room is probably up here, right? Your Xbox controller still uses micro USB, so I think it's Xbox One. X is the USB C. Yeah, then I have the X one. I have the X controller, not the X one. <laughs> It's the one where you could get, like, color customizations on it through the Xbox Lab thing. The point is, like, I have, you know, whatever the current generation of Xbox is, I have that controller. And whilst, you know, the analog stick layout and that is, is great, the D-pad is, man... I've said this before, but, you know, we, we got the D-pad correct such a long time ago. In terms of comfort, size, accuracy, all that stuff. And yet, console manufacturers still want to try and reinvent the wheel. Just to be different. Look, I, I don't get it. Just either use the Super Nintendo D-pad or the... Genesis slash Saturn D-pad. Either one of those two. I think that's where we peaked. The PS2 one's not bad as well, but... Personal prefer- a Anything- anything before the year 2010, I think we can agree, is like a better D-pad than anything else. Just... With maybe the exception of the, um, the DualSense. The PS5 controller D-pad, which is, is fine. The PS1 D-pad was more or less like the PS2, but it was, um... More tactile instead of clicky. Did I just lose the curse? I actually have the controllers here for comparison. I'm guessing I have to get cursed in the castle then, because it, it seems to clear the debuff when I leave the area. Let me just try again. The PS1 had a revision when they went 
the dual shock, which is a bit more comfortable, but yeah. I never liked the PS1 D-pad, it just felt... Yeah. The weight of the controller felt super light, and then it was just small, I don't know. It's personal preference at the end of the day, but I like it all being unified instead of it being separate buttons. I think that's the thing that I didn't like about it the most. But it was definitely infinitely better than what I'm using here. With the Xbox D-pad. I wanted to use the Super Nintendo to play the Super Nintendo controller to play this, but um, because it has touchscreen mechanics, I don't remember exactly how you use them, but I know they're present. So you're using the right analog stick to do that, which the con that controller doesn't have analog sticks, so. But otherwise, that's my go-to for 2D platformers, is just um, the Nintendo wireless Super Nintendo controller. Well, I'm still debuffed. Now, see, oh, you gotta be quick. Pudding bucket? What do you mean, pudding bucket? A bucket full of pudding. Don't worry, the bucket is new. <laughs> okay. I've gotten kind of lucky with items. I think I need to get cursed in the castle because it takes too long. We'll leave it for now. No, I, I love the item lore sometimes. It's... I don't know what I was expecting. It said P pudding bucket. Oh, Charlotte's. There's some new Twitch extension besides FFZ and BT TV. I rarely use the extensions. But that's interesting. I think the BT TV stuff makes sense <laughs> when you got emotes to share. I don't really have any. Oh crap, it's boss time already. Um. Hmm. Let me explore first, just in case. You can load up other people's here channel, though. Oh, yeah, I know. It's just more... I guess that's not the sort of thing <laughs> that, um, I actively care about too much. Go back here. I think the main thing I used those extensions for was just customizing 
the Twitch UI, getting rid of buttons that I don't like, or like making certain things, well, as the name implies, better. As opposed to the emote side of it. Who's that for? Oh. That's disappointing. But I've caught- I've always been like that, just... I don't know. <laughs> just things like emotes and whatnot. It, just never really interested in me that much. I think I can get that. Hang on. Yep. The only Castlevania game you've played anything of was Symphony. Symphony is probably the best one, in my opinion. Um, so, it's a good one to play. The ones on the DS and Game Boy Advance are pretty good. So, this is um, Portrait of Ruin. I think it's like the last one they released on the original DS. I have a lot of nostalgia for it because I picked it up. I imported it. It was going to take forever for it to get to Australia. Yeah, the collections they've been releasing with these kind of games has been pretty good. With the exception of the main menu kind of being janky, but other than that... They're uh, pretty good in terms of effort. A heck of a lot more than what Nintendo did for Mario's collection. It's just, yeah, they haven't really done much with the franchise anymore. Because now K Konami would rather make pachinko machines as opposed to games. But at least they're releasing these collections. It's something. It's... For preservation, at least they're not dropping the ball. They're no Nintendo, yeah. And that's saying something, because <laughs> they're Konami. Uh, they're not exactly the most beloved um, game publisher for the aforementioned reasons. But at least they're putting more effort into these collections. I think the company that's handling these collections the best at the moment is, is definitely Capcom. Particularly the new fighting game collections they're releasing, like... Fighting game fans are eating good. Uh, that's worth it. Your brother linked you a fan-made Mega Man X game that looks sick. Do you remember the name of it? There's one that's been in the works for a really long time and it looks super good. But there's no ETA on it. There's another um, Donkey Kong Country game that someone's working on. It's like Donkey Kong... Uh, it's a sequel. 
to the Super Nintendo games, so. And that's another one that looks really good. But no release date for it. Yeah, I'm not risking getting hurt. I don't want to go for the boss just in case I'm not supposed to, because there's a large area here to explore. And if I recall correctly, the clock tower is one of the areas you go to later. Mega Man X Corrupted, okay. I can't remember if that's the one I was thinking of, but I'll take a look. Yeah, see, there's another portrait here, so... I should probably go into the portrait before considering another boss fight. There's been some pretty good fan games lately. The last one I played was a reimagining of um, the NES version of Castlevania, but redoing it so it plays more like this one. Well, the ones in the same vein as this one. And that was pretty good. A fist? Whip knuckles? What? And why am I not remembering these weapons? Wait! I got interrupted! Oh, the poison. Oh, this is not good. Uh, there's a save room directly above me, so that's fine. This is why I did not want to go into that boss fight. Disturbed chest. Damn it. I hate that they're off screen. <laughs> Okay, he can tank it. I just want to make sure I get most of this map done first. I have a room I can go to anyway. inferior, which leads me to believe I should have explored here sooner. Then again, I've also been lucky with drops, so who knows. Okay, I shouldn't go down there because I won't let me get back up. Maybe. Yeah. 
，等一阵啊。I love how much of an old man that dog looks like. <laughs> Especially the sound it makes when it dies. I don't know. I just think old man. Not messing around! That doesn't get old. I know I'm not the only one that used to spam that. When they announced this collection, like, the comments on YouTube were just exactly that. I miss being able to stomp enemies and not take damage. Are you kidding? What is... What is my luck? Alright. I'm getting a drop that's an upgrade like every 10-15 minutes. We go here. Yeah. All right, painting time. God, it's the circus stage. <laughs> uh. I timed that wrong. I don't think I got the sli slime. Oh, come on! Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> it knocked me back. Man, I need to swap to... Because the other one seems to be physical damage. Going well. No, thank you. What? It's not usable. Interesting. I don't remember what it does. I hate this. <laughs> uh, did I get heals? I don't think I did, right? Okay, I did not. Hmm.
there. What is this? An odd statue. Odd place for a statue of the Virgin Mary. That's probably going to be a side quest thing. Hang on. I'm going back in case there was a save room. Right at the start. Oh, this might be a terrible idea, actually. Such a bad start. Uh. Oh, nope. Yeah, um, I'm gonna leave the stage and just heal. And I think I need to go for potions like this. Doesn't bode well. I don't know, I don't have a good track record with clown stages. You're back. Excellent. Oh. Well done. Okay, that's cool. Got to turn in two more. actually not worth it anymore. I've got better armor somehow. Hang on, what am I looking at? Thank you. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Blue is Charlotte. At this point, probably just stick with what I have. And just save for the big item. Oh, okay. I'll go this way. Another cut. Okay. I'm sure there's a purpose for these playing cards. Wait, there's something over there. There we go. Stupid thing. <laughs> Taking damage feels bad because of the music. It just feels like I should be doing better. What is this? Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, 
All these rooms are starting to blend in with one another. Just the insanity of this situation right now is... Just imagine this trained sniper just shooting into the ground and roof and not a single shot is hitting and I'm just standing here. I see you. Do you now? Put her out of her misery. I see you. Uh oh. Mistake. Oh no, this is not a mistake. Let's have to be surgical with this. There we go. Hey! Oh, no, this was actually a mistake. <laughs> I got baited. Excuse me for having an imagination. Um, it doesn't affect mine, so I guess that's fine. As long as it doesn't affect Intel Mines. Uh... Yeah, okay. Why not? Not too much of a downside. I'm kind of disappointed in the lack of breakable walls. Oh no, this is fun. I was gonna take damage. Oh wait, there's another room over there. What is this? Wrong move! I was trying to do this. I can't do it now. This room. Okay. Out. I'm just gonna fill in the map. Oh, that was a bag of dick. 
How was I supposed to know? I'm ignoring, I'm just gonna climb. with my head a little. Just the direction that these heads are traveling in. Oh boy. Yeah. This is this a trap. Okay. I just want to fill in the map. Yeah, okay. Spaghetti. Uh, let me check here first. Pasta carbonara. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm probably doing this in the wrong order. Okay, bright side, there is... Safe point here. I guess this whole map is doing like a mirror image thing in every direction. That's definitely got to be a side quest. What is this? Yeah. Battle jacket. Uh, not. I guess it's worth. <laughs> Hold on, Jonathan. At least it's being lenient with the save points. Hey. Okay. 
Okay, high luck. Why not? Thanks for the fedora. I hate these things. Alright, I'm gonna continue up. I mean, if there's one thing the stage is giving me a lot of is this, which is great. All right, that's the save point. Uh, I'm gonna go up this way first. Seems easier. Alright, this is just purely for map progress. Just attack them. I'm being lazy. There we go. No point in beating that. making sure. Uh-oh. Don't shoot. Fine. Uh, hold on. Uh, I kind of have to explore here. Oh no, that was a bad call. For what? Corn soup. All right. Well, I hope that soup was worthwhile. I should get both of them. <laughs> Absolutely not. Get him out of here. Can't be a good thing, like a rotten durian. A durian already smells bad to half the people. I can only imagine what a rotten one would smell like to them. Okay, no, that's not a bad one. Uh, I should 
Probably gotta get whatever the cog is. Another Joker. No idea what it does. Oh, okay. We're doing this again. Ugh. Use your weapons, critical move, forward, forward, X. I mean, we're not going into the boss fight. Not like this. I'm gonna explore the rest of the map. Get the feeling I should have gone down. Oh. Okay, never mind. Wait, how on earth? I guess I don't have an ability to go in there yet. Did it respawn? No, I must not have taken the damage. I just want to make sure there's no more health upgrades or whatever. Deal extra damage and kicking, probably never going to be a thing. Okay, it's nothing. <laughs> I think I've done a full lap now. I'm just going to cut through the middle and then warp. Out of this room. Ugh. I think I know what fight this is going to be. It's going to be Grand Falloon or whatever that thing is called. Alright, uh, the fastest way to warp point plus heals is like this.
pretty much full map coverage I got. Oh, wait, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, I guess it depends if I can get up here. Hmm. Doesn't let you. Okay, I have to go around. That's fine, it's not that much of a detour. Oh. We are ready. I figured. to Charlotte for generation. Yeah, this thing hurts. Okay, Jonathan is really <laughs> weak. Dude, Charlotte is absolutely tanking this. I guess this is the way to do it. I don't get it. Why is she so strong? She's really not eating that much damage. Ah! Swap when I think I'm in danger. Can't believe how little damage she takes. This phase is arguably easier. Alright, just be patient. Actually, hold on. Not to that. There we go. Good move is good. Uh, 
I guess that's the fastest way out. Wanna catch up? You're back. Care to try? Out of the Zephyr. This is your training. Oh god. This is your training. Moldy bread, I'm gonna need it in the mo Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> I purely swapped to the Super Nintendo controller just to do this. Oh, I got it right. All right, cool. Rocket Slash. Well done. Statue's tier. Alright, well, let me go do that quick, because I know what that is. I'm surprised I got that three times in a row. Oh yeah, it does work, there you go. So I can interact with the map with like a touch screen if I want. Don't think it's really necessary, but it's there. It's all bloody. I forgot what the payoff was for doing everything that guy wants. I just remember it was something that I just had to keep tabs on is just the quests he has. Anytime you finish a stage, just go back to him every time. important. Um, I guess I may as well. Wait, you can only hold nine of these? Okay, well. Let's see if anything else worthwhile unlocked. Uh... 
I mean, I guess I could get some of these. Let's say for now. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good stopping point for this, for now. It's like a good solid three hours. Um, yeah, I like the game. It is a lot of fun. Oh right, I forgot about the animated intro. Well there you go, you can see it there too. Um, it's a cool collection, just the UI is a little clunky for sure. But I figured it out. Uh, we'll do more of this throughout the week, so you know, I'll, I'll keep playing it. Um, but if you were checking this out later as a replay, uh, thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the VODs channel, just give the video a like. But otherwise, thanks for watching.